Hey folks, it's Mike. I'm uh, headed towards the uh, Forks National Historic Site. Uh, you know, this being winter time in you know, January, we've got uh, a frozen river and uh, check out the, uh, I think it's called, it's still called the Red River Mutual Trail, which is basically an ice skating trail. It's also got a bunch of uh, uh, warming huts that were designed by various uh, designers and architects so, over the last few years. Um, so we'll go check it out. Awesome, it's a big block of snow. You know what I can make out of this? A giant Quincy, a party Quincy. You can just uh, create a, uh, another uh, colored ice bar and uh, serve some nice drinks, cold drinks of course, and some uh, frozen nachos and uh, cheese dip. Awesome. Mahatma, you're looking a bit cold. I mean, it is minus 20 out here, so, dude, you need to cover up. I mean, it's it's cold. Uh, at least put on, you know, some pants. Uh, yeah, welcome to uh, Winnipeg in the middle of winter. Um, it's cold. As I say, it was minus 20-ish. Uh, lots of snow, of course. Um, it's what you gotta expect. Um, honestly. You just gotta live with it. That's how I cope. That's how pretty much everybody else copes. We still complain. I mean, we're loud too, but that's all you can do. And of course, reason number 1,874 that you know that you're in Winnipeg, the Winnipeg sign. It's 1,874 that when Winnipeg was founded. Yeah, I'm, um, yeah, bad joke, dad joke, whatever. Seriously, this is a uh, 2,000 some odd bicycles. Uh, structure's called Forever Bicycles by a uh, Chinese artist named Ai Weiwei. Um, it's gonna be here for probably about another six, eight months or something like that. And uh, it's gonna go on to another city. So, uh, it's quite impressive. Still can't find my bike somewhere, I don't know where it is, but yeah. Okay, so this is where my bike went to. I lost it like in my garage like last year, but I can't find it. Okay, where is it? Uh, oh, there it is. Awesome. Now, um, how, do I, how do I get it out? Uh, crap. The, uh, the, the Forks National Historic Site, uh, many thousands of years ago, up to probably a couple centuries ago, was a meeting place for uh, Aboriginals to you know, trade and whatever. And uh, then, of course, uh, you know, around the founding of the city of Winnipeg, it uh, then changed into a, uh, a giant rail yard for uh, Canadian National Railways. Canadian National Railways. I'm cold, frozen, soon. But uh, um, that closed uh, 
because the train yard basically got moved to the east side of the city. And uh, this uh, former rail yard was actually converted into a, basically a market uh, slash historic site. Uh, some of the buildings remain, including uh, the, there it is, there it is, uh, the Johnson Terminal, which is uh, uh, it's got uh, some nice shops in there. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'm cold. I'm going inside for a little bit. Okay, let's see. That side's icy, that side's not. I'm here, ish. I need to be there. Now, I gotta play it safe. I can't slip on the ice. That'll hurt. And I'll break cameras. I don't wanna do that. Canadians have crashed and ended. Look at that. Already then. The uh, Warning Huts uh, started out uh, as a, an architectural uh, design challenge about, I don't know, 10 years ago. I mean, don't know the exact date, but uh, um, you know, it brings a fun element to winter uh, at the Forks um, and at the city in general. And uh, you've got uh, artists and architects and uh, students and you know, various di different uh, firms that uh, come up with uh, interesting designs uh, that we, we, the, the huts been scattered all along the, uh, the river trail. And uh, you know, it just brings a fun element to winter. Because uh, hey, minus 40, not that fun. Of course, with uh, all these awesome looking uh, warming huts that we have around here, there's one I'm hoping isn't here. He's, uh, he's a monster. God. I hope he's not here. Oh man, he is back. It is back. Uh. I, uh, I will say with that hut, he's named Huddy, and uh, he's actually uh, a warming hut that was uh, created, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, um, and uh, he's possessed with an evil spirit. He, uh, he devours children, um, you know, in the, you know, playful little disguise that he has, and uh, uh, pure evil. I mean, yeah. So every every winter, he's here and devours more and more souls. I just can't get away from him.
Hey folks, I'm back. It's uh, at night here at the Forks. Um, I figured I'd come up and take some long exposure shots. Uh, you know, stuff where you keep the shutter open for, you know, one to a million seconds if you really want to, but I uh, figured with all the, uh, the pretty lights out here, I'd uh, like to shoot some, uh, some nice uh, pretty scenes. So yeah. Forks in winter at night is really pretty with all the uh, you know the lights along the trails, uh, both the, the skating and the, the walking trails. Uh, you know and the snow sort of glistening with the, uh, the you know, reflecting off the uh, the lights, and uh, the sounds of the, uh, the sweepers as they uh, brush all the snow off the uh, river trail itself. Uh, kind of romantic. Well, okay, well not the, the sweeper part, but uh, everything else. Quite nice, quite romantic, quite pretty. I'm uh, playing with long exposure because, well, you know, at night, you set your ISO to 100 for the sharpest image. Uh, you set uh, an aperture appropriately and uh, you set the time, the shutter speed to uh, however many seconds you want and uh, you can get some uh, nice crystal clear images. Comparative, you know, to having to use like an ISO like 800 or 1600 and uh, shutter speed of you know, one one hundredth or something like that, which gets you an image, but it's a little brainier compared to ISO 100, so that's why I'm doing it. Anyway, on that note, uh, it's time for me to go home. I'm frozen, uh, much more colder than a uh, Slurpee that's been left in the freezer for a week. Uh, so I gotta make the long trek across the uh, Esplanade Rail to get, get home and uh, get some dinner. Anyway, on that point. Uh, see you next time, and uh, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. Ciao, folks. Hurty must devour souls many